Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Dark Corners of the Earth. Last time, as you may recall, well, we had a very, very harrowing escape from the uh, townspeople of Innsmouth and have somehow found our way into the sewers. Now, normally sewers are pretty much the bane of any video game as they are incredibly dull and incredibly repetitive, but I should say that Dark Corners of the Earth decides to go a different direction with that. <laughs> what is that? Hello? No, wait! That looked very familiar, but it couldn't be. Yeah, the previous chapter got us used to, I guess, stealth and dodging, and this particular chapter, well, decides to give us a uh, full on lesson about insanity. What the hell is all this stuff? I mean, watch. He's calling. He's calling to me. There's something down here. Yeah, we need to divert our vision from all these horrible scenes for just a second because, well, it was getting pretty hard to see with all the insanity distortions and things going on. Yeah, insanity will become very much a hindrance later on due to, well, being unable to aim, getting slowed movement. And it may seem rather odd, but if we do have a gun in our hand and have reached maximum insanity, we will actually kill ourselves. So we can actually be fatal. But you may have been noticing that brown sludge in the previous room, and if we crawl up onto this, uh, that, I suppose, we will see that well, we have a big tub of it here, and, well it hurts us. So we definitely need to find some way to get rid of this bl brown liquid. And that's what these two pipes here are for. The right one will stop the flow of the brown liquid. The left will start the flow of just normal water. Which should hopefully dissipate that brown liquid. And this lever right here will open up a sluice, which will empty out the liquid. So now all we have left is water, but we still have the water left on, so it'll just immediately fill back up. So there's a rather simple solution to this problem. All we need to do is go back and turn off the water. And the final step is to turn on, or uh, open up the sluice, sluice, that is the proper way to pronounce it, I'm probably butchering it, and to get into the hole, ow. Yeah, this part, due to the uh, limitations of the movement engine, can be rather difficult and painful. Yeah, that sluice door is actually really painful. 
But the way that movement is set up, especially on ladders, is that you have to be looking directly upwards whenever you want to climb. You can't just, you know, press the jump button or anything like that. And yeah, the timer on this is actually very, very uh, unforgiving. But, I mean, that's why we have plenty of healing items. You'll actually see now that, well, our head is so damaged we need sutures, which means that we could actually bleed to death. Thankfully, though, we're all healed up now, and I think uh, everything's going to be better. Lots better. I think I'm beginning to understand more and more why the people of Innsmouth don't really go down to the sewers that often. We are reaching closer and closer to the end of the sewers themselves. There is one more obstacle to get through and well it can be kind of cumbersome to say the least depending on your luck. Yeah, these little spider crabs are not only incredibly icky and make my skin crawl, but they also deal poison damage. Poison damage will slowly kill you, and the only thing to fight poison is antidote, and you can only carry three antidotes at a time. So you can understand how cumbersome that can be. We hear the call. Did you hear that? No, what we have to do here may not seem very obvious at first. It came from more than. But you'll notice that with each one of these grates, we get the attention of some guards. King. I heard something or that. And what we want to do is drag them all the way down here. I heard something. And once they're thoroughly distracted, are you down there outside? We can head up to this open ladder and grate, and hopefully get by them without getting their attention and getting a face full of buckshot. Can you see anything? 
You just got to be careful because when you're going back, the grates will actually re-signal them. Are you down there, outsider? And they'll come running straight to where you are. And you do want to be careful in this burning building because the flames have actually rendered some of the lumber uh, a little unstable. I heard something. Yeah, if we were to walk straight across, we would have fallen and taken a little bit of damage. But we do want to operate this crank which in turn will move a box on the lower floor that was previously blocking a door. And now it's just simply a matter of going back downstairs and going to the door. There's also a med kit here, but we are actually full up. Take them down. Now you might be questioning where we are heading with all this because, well, we kind of lost our sense of direction with all these different alleyways and similar looking warehouses, but we're actually almost where we want to be. Search the area. That is in the minister's house with Rebecca. Jack, you're alive. Thank God. Just barely. The order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the order wouldn't stand. Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The order has him holed up in the old jailhouse. Until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack. To Dagon. They'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Innsmouth's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. But... Mm, I don't want another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the Merchant's Bank, just past the old water tower. We better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... and... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No, but he gave me this. I think it'll help. They found us. We have to leave now. <gasps> the church is this way. Come Follow out! me. It won't budge. And pretty much immediately, the townsfolk are already upon us. And before we head outside, we do want to take a quick detour upstairs because there actually is a document waiting for us. It won't budge. Jack, you're going the wrong way! Thankfully, we're not actually in any immediate danger, so we do have a little bit of time to grab that. And where we need to go is actually fairly close by. But there was no saving Rebecca. Why? Why did I come here? And we've now found ourselves holed up in the church. 
For some reason, the townsfolk won't actually come in here, but... Well, we might actually just be stuck. Unless, of course, we can find out about this secret compartment or room that uh, the minister was h hiding in here. And it's kind of a shame about Rebecca, but apparently... Well, anyone we come in contact with seems to end up dead. Just give yourself up, outsider. The order will have mercy on your rotten soul. You're trapped. There's no place you can run. Open these doors, outsider! And while that is fairly true, I'll see you next time.